Hi everyone, Aaron here for Zolotech, and this is Recover It. This is a program from Wondershare, and many of you ask me all the time how you can recover files, and this is an application that will help you do that. They make a lot of other applications that I've covered, and this one in particular helps you recover files on your Mac and Windows computer. They were nice enough to sponsor the video, but I wanted to share with you how this works. So as you can see here, we have a bunch of different options, delete file recovery, empty trash recovery, format disk, recovery, lost partition recovery, external devices, virus attack, system crash, and all around recovery. External devices covers things like USB flash drives, digital cameras, all of these different things here. If we go home, you'll see you can even create a bootable drive to recover data from a crashed MacBook or whatever you're using, whether it be Windows or Mac. And it's free to use up to a certain extent. So you do have an upgrade available but you can recover files up to 100 megabytes without doing anything as far as paying or upgrading. And you can see if it works for you before you buy it. And that's a lot of the things that people have problems with with general recovery software is they can't try it to make sure it recovers what they need first. So what we want to do is I have an example here. I have an external drive attached. You'll see it's right here, clicked on the side. And then I put a couple images in here and these are from a recent video. So if I open these up, You'll see this is from a recent video and the next one down as well. There's some of my most recent videos. If we click on these and then drag them to the trash, we'll delete them and see if we can recover them. It should be pretty simple and straightforward. There's just a couple files. Let's go to trash recovery since that's what we just did is emptied the trash. You'll see we have two devices here. I don't see it here, so maybe it's not going to let me get the trash file recovery here. Guess we can't get it there either. Let's try all around data recovery and grab it from here. And let's see what we can find. So this is a two terabyte drive. Let's click start and see what we can recover. So now it's scanning the drive. We have 51% of the files scanned. We've got about 25 seconds or so left. Let's see what it finds. Now, as we're waiting for it to continue to find more files, you'll see it's found over 72,000 files. So here are the photos, so I'll double click on that, and it helps to know what kind of photos they are as far as the file type. So I usually use PNG, but if you know what type they are, that works for you. Double click on it, and you'll see it's already recovered a bunch of different files, whether it be clip art, I'm not even sure what these are from, but here are the two files that we want, right here and here. That's what we deleted last. So we'll wait for this to finish, and then we'll recover our two files. The scan is completed and it actually changed the directory. So let me go back to file or photos here on the left and you'll see we have all sorts of different files that it's recovered. Let's go to photos. We'll go to PNG and it put them in folders. So we do have more than this, but let's recover this one and this one and we'll click recover and you'll see it's a free version. We'll click evaluate, but there's a couple different options here and it asks us where we would like to recover it to, let's recover it right back to where we found it to begin with. So we'll go to that drive, we'll go to my images, and we'll recover them in that same folder. So it wants me to select another path. I'll just select the main path here. We'll click save. And we should have our backups. So let's see right here. You'll see we're in the drive. We've got recover it. We'll go into here, and it actually puts it in a separate folder that's similar. Let's see what we've got. And we've got our full images back. So this will work for photos, images, video, whatever you have. As long as it's under 100 megabytes, it's free, or you can upgrade to Pro or Ultimate and even get some tech support depending on what you'd like to use. So that's it for Recover It. See if it works for you. I'll leave a link to it in the description below. Let me know in the comments below if this was able to recover for you. If it isn't, then you haven't lost anything. If it works great for you and you need larger files, just go ahead and upgrade. Let me know what you think in the comments below. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe and like. As always, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.